I went on a USA climbing trip in November, I left, but I wasn't able to climb whilst I was there because I injured my finger just before leaving. So it wasn't the most ideal climbing trip I've ever been on, but yeah, I managed to do a little bit and it was cool to see some places and then my boyfriend who I was away with, he dislocated his ankle, so we decided to fly home. It was a bit of a disastrous trip actually. We got broken into and then we had mice in our van and they ate our clothes and it just wasn't good from the very beginning. So yeah, we came home early, which meant that I got some extra training in and got some time to rehab my finger. I worked closely with my coach, Mark, who I wouldn't be here without for sure. And I also had a lot of help from Red Bull. They really helped me with physios and scans and consultants to make sure that my finger was good and I could train in it. And we knew like a rehab program so that I wasn't going to come back too soon and then I just did a lot of training I guess lots of different kinds of things it's hard for me what to remember training? it's hard for me to know what to what training I did because my coach and I work so close together and I put my trust in him so he basically tells me what to do and I do it no I don't do weights but I do a lot of stuff off the climbing wall I climb probably like 60 70 percent and then the rest is training I use a beast maker a lot to make sure my fingers are strong and also to try and rehab my fingers as well when I do get injured. I think that's really important to be on the fingerboard and be doing things that are controlled. You can also gain a lot of strength that way. And I do a lot of stuff in the Gimme Craft book as well. And I try and mix it up quite a lot. Well, I say I do, my coach does. So I yeah. pretty much just do whatever he tells me to. I think that, I don't know if it's that we're taking it seriously. Maybe it's just that the opportunity is there. There aren't so many coaches in climbing not at an elite level anyway and it, it is difficult to find someone who you work well with. It took Mark and I a long time to learn how to work together because it is a relationship so and you have to nurture it and look after it and we've really found a balance that works well for us but it, it's not easy and I'm sure he would agree with that and um, I don't think I'm a very easy person to work with but somehow he puts up with me so that's good. Um, but yeah I don't know if if it's just that there aren't many coaches, so that's why there aren't many athletes. But Mark and I were lucky enough to find each other in like a close enough vicinity for it to work well. But yeah, I was already making World Cup finals w without a coach, but the amount that it has brought me on is unbelievable and it's hard to describe. Yeah. I think, I I've, I've guess it shows what he can do and then, yeah. yeah, I think it's definitely changing the sport and yeah, it'd be exciting to see where it can get to with more research and more money put into the research behind on how to train and how to get better at climbing. So yeah. I think it's going to be really exciting. I guess it's different every year because you have to juggle injuries and you have to juggle your training and also what else is going on in your life. But for me this year, I definitely tapered a little bit. But I get, yeah, I don't really know what I did. I think my training sessions were shorter, but I don't know. I tend to have quite a lot of fun when I'm training and that's one of the most important things for me is to enjoy climbing. And if I'm not enjoying training and climbing, I think my coach just kicks me back onto the wall and makes me do a lot of dinos and fun stuff so that I remember why I'm doing it. And that, that really is the, the core for me is to, to have fun when I'm training and to bounce after people who I'm training with and to really enjoy it. So yeah, I guess I don't really remember exactly what I'm doing. I don't remember the bad bits because I'm just so psyched about the good bits. Yeah.